everyone good morning. Today you join me on the River Nina at Arundel. I'm on the stretch below Cheremy Bridge. Um, one of my favourite stretches actually, especially in the summer, but I haven't been here this year at all. It's my first visit. So I've had to cut myself a peg in and uh, I'm starting off on the on the feeder, three quarters of the way across, just fishing with a wand, just really nice and light, just see if there's anything about. At the minute I've had a roach, a small chub and three small perch. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm feeding up the whip line with hemp and tares <coughs> with a view to fishing for roach in the next hour or so. So, hopefully, hello, another small fish on the, on the tip. There seems to be a few fish out there, but they're mainly perch and small ones at that. Look at that, that's terrible. <laughs> But the good thing is, at least I see the bite early, I hit the bite early and hooked it in the lip, so you'll know what perch you like for getting the hook down them. <laughs> so uh, that's one good thing about fishing the wand. Everything's so delicate and fine that you know it registers the bites very, very well. Anyway, we'll carry on with this for a, another half hour or so, and then we'll have a look on the over the hemp. So I'll catch you all in a bit. We'll be catching a few more of these on the whip a bit later. Look at that, just come off. Well, it's the best fish I've had on. Never mind, quick update while we're in. Um, had a go on the whip after an hour, and uh, I caught a roach on, on a caster, then I caught a bleak, and then I caught a couple on, on hemp and tears, but it, about 20-25 minutes on the wind. Didn't have a lot of joy so I'm going to keep feeding it up and back on the feeder just to uh, pass a bit of time and hopefully a bit later we'll get them on the hemp. Okay, right, I'm back on the whip for a while now. We are catching a few. They're not throwing themselves at me, but we're catching a few. Uh, mainly on the tear on the hook. Oh, just bump one. But it's, uh, 
It's a little bit tricky. I mean, although the wind is predominantly off my back today, it's actually skimming downstream quite strongly. So, for that reason, I'm actually fishing a waggler on the whip so I can get my line sunk and stop it getting pulled off line. But, uh, I'll catch a couple more fish and I'll have a look at the rig. Okay. Right, just take a quick look at the rig. Today we're fishing six metres to hand on the whip. Uh, I started off fishing near the bottom with about nine feet of water. So I've come up now to follow the fish up about six feet deep. So I've got a lot more line between my tip and my float. But I can deal with that in this loop because of today I'm fishing a waggler on the whip. It's got a Drennan 2 gram antenna on. Still held in place with float stops. Bulk olive at about half depth and then three, sorry, four droppers. I've got two number 10s and two number 11s. And a 6 inch hook length of 010 to a size 18 hook. And on that I'm fishing with hemp, a tear, or a piece of wheat. Nothing else I haven't really bothered with maggot. There's no point, just get bleaked out all of it. So just flick it in underhand, lines at full extent, sink the tip of the whip, pull it back, it sinks your line just like when you fish a waggler normally. So uh, it's ideal like conditions like today because although the wind is behind me predominantly most of the skim is coming downstream and if I fish the top and bottom float I'd end up with a great big bow in the line it'd be pulling pulling the float offline whereas this is because the river's hardly moving through as well this is perfect because I can actually keep straight straight line to the uh, float anyway that's that well, I'll get about another hour, see if I can catch a few more. It's been a bit fits and starts today, but we have caught a few, so can't go on below. No, anyway, catch you in a bit. Plenty catching on the tear, but quite a few on wheat. I don't think anything's better than anything else really today. Hemp tears all week, it's pretty much of a muchness. A little bit better stamp. The trouble is, you get one or two like that, and then you get ounce fish and two ounce fish so <laughs> no rhyme rhyme or reason to it but it'd be nice to catch them four and five ounce fish more frequently
Right then, I think it's about time I turned it in. But just over four hours. I was only going to fish till like 12 anyway, so that's my lot. We'll get the fish out in a minute and have a look. Not sure, I'm not sure if I've broke double figures or not, but I got close. Anyway, we'll have a way up and I'll have a look in a minute and uh, then we'll get out of here. So, uh, catch in a bit. Well, there we go, a quick look at what we've got. As you can see that. But just a shade over 10 pounds, predominant roach. Not very big. That's sort of a bat stamp. Four ounce. A lot of ounce fish, a lot of two ounce fish. But plenty of fish caught and uh, kept me amused for a few hours anyway. Anyway, I get the rest of this gear packed up and uh, get myself off home. And uh, I'll see you all next time. So thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>